what we believe and this is an important thing from an Aryaka's perspective is actually accomplishing the vision of SASE is where we feel customers need the most help and what we will see now moving forward is now that we know what our destination is which is the converged networking and security the next immediate question is how do i execute how do i make my sassy dream come true hi this is your host Apil Bharatiya and welcome to our yearly predictions video series and today we have with us once again Renuka Nathkarni, Chief Product Officer at Aryaka. Renuka, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you, Sopna. Glad to be here. Yeah, of course, I'm going to ask you to uh, pick your crystal ball and share your predictions with us. But before that, please quickly remind our viewers, what is Aryaka all about? So Aryaka is um, a SASE vendor. We are a um, SD-WAN company that built a superb network infrastructure with the vision to connect uh, any point uh, to any other point on the internet with the best performance, low latency. And uh, as we are building this, um, as we call it internet highway, we are now adding security to it. So we are moving towards the industry, what industry calls as SASE or the this um, convergence of networking and security. So that's in a nutshell what Ariaka is about. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and share with us what predictions you have for our viewers. Yes, yeah, Opnil, so as you saw, the year actually started with a big bang. You probably saw the industry uh, announcements from a lot of different vendors. Uh, finally, some of the l largest um, security players are finally acknowledging that networking is an integral part to have a true security. So we began the year with um, a, a massive, massive focus on multiple different announcements in the space of what we call as SASE. And uh, SASE by definition is a convergence of networking and security. And we are really very excited to see see this um, you know extreme um, sort of like uh, desire and convergence and also we are seeing this uh, trend from the industry leaders who are now actually really looking towards what customers need uh, from uh, a truly networking and uh, security convergence perspective so one of the trends is clearly this convergence but also the collaboration or the unanimous opinion of large security vendors uh, the who's who everybody is actually almost aligned um, thanks to a lot of initiatives that Gartner and you know some of the other vendors specifically Del Oro um, how they have how they have shared it so it seems like that is coming to a fruition that's my first prediction uh, in um, that we are seeing and um, really taking off as the year began uh, my second prediction is uh, while this is great and while it looks amazing on a PowerPoint slide and it looks really great when people talk about it, we all absolutely love magic quadrants and, uh, and uh, you know, the analyst predictions. Uh, what we believe, and this is an important thing from an Aryaka's perspective, is actually accomplishing the vision of SASE is where we feel customers need the most help. And what we will see now moving forward is, now that we know what our destination is, which is the converged networking and security, the next immediate question is, how do I execute? How do I make my SASE dream come true? What is required to get to that place? And clearly there's going to be um, like immediate practical considerations from a customer perspective. I have multiple different uh, consumption models. I have multiple different uh, vendors who I'm in contract with. I have multiple different renewals which are lined up at all different times. There are appliances being end of life. So we are gonna see a, a lot of action there which is we know where we are going, but how do we get there? And the journey of SASE is going to be way more important than the actual destination of SASE itself. So that's our prediction. There's going to be a huge awakening in terms of how do you make this SASE dream real? How do you actually execute on the nuts and bolts and, and make this thing work? Uh, and my third prediction is the way people will prioritize what should be done will be dictated by the business needs. It's not going to be dictated by the technology or how sophisticated my security capabilities are. It's how many of those security capabilities can I actually deploy? How many of them can I actually enforce? Because you can have the best security technologies, but if you cannot enforce it, if you don't have the right controls in the network, if you don't really have that truly operationalized uh, all the way from how do I change policies, how do I enforce policies, what happens when there is actually an attack? How do I know that my policy is violated? Getting that in progress, making that actually work is I think where um, 
all the prioritization that we see where it will be driven by business. It won't be driven by, I want to feature XYZ in my SASE. So these are my three big predictions that we see happening uh, in immediate term and midterm over the next three years. Thank you. Now, when we look at these trends, these predictions, what challenges that you see from 2023 that will crawl into this year or what new challenges you see are going to be there for the larger market ecosystem and even players like Ariaka to help customers navigate through those challenges? I think the first and the foremost problem is understanding of what exactly SASE means. Uh, this is something in all our real customer conversations. Uh, the question is, there is a you know CIO on the plane read a magazine and there is a SASE. They come back and they are talking to their directors and saying, I want to have SASE tomorrow. You know, what can we do about this? Right. So the number one challenge is actually interpreting what it is, what what is the business problem we are trying to solve for? How do we make sure that no matter which vendor you go with, what technology we purchase, how do we make sure that it's actually solving a real business problem? That's actually the number one thing that we see. Uh, the second thing I also see um, is, uh, in fact, to make it happen, to make it work. And this is where having the operational processes change is the second challenge we see. Because there has to be a clarity in terms of roles and responsibilities. Who owns the change management? Who owns the implications of changing the policies, who owns the incidence response, how do you do the handoff between all of these uh, you know, different entities from an operational perspective? Uh, can I get somebody to help me take me through this journey? Can I help? Can I get somebody who can actually take me through this process of the SASE adoption? And I think that's where Ariaka truly shines, where we can help customers. We treat this as a journey, not as destination. And uh, we really believe that customers can uh, need to have a very uh, a systematic and a step-by-step -step approach to operationalizing true SASE. Um, and then the third thing we see is um, really the need for different vendors to interoperate. Um, as a networking vendor at the core, we do what's called as traffic steering, traffic management. And what the value that we bring to the table is, um, it's it's not like buy my SASE all or none. Uh, it's actually, where are you today? What are different vendors do you have? What are the different technologies? And with our technology on the networking side of things, we can do uh, security with uh, within our stack, or we can integrate with other security vendors. You may have EDR vendors who are doing endpoint prediction. You may have SIM vendors who are actually collecting all the logs and data and, and things like that. Uh, you may have you know some uh, experimental AI technologies that is actually looking for the consumption uh, data, that is looking for like network usage data, that's looking for the security logs. So Ariaka is actually a master at like working and taking our customers through this journey by seamlessly integrating with existing vendors as well as gradually you know uh, allowing customers to um, apply the similar technologies to remote places where they cannot have these existing vendors so it's like a gradual progression that um, you know we can help customers with in this sassy journey what is going to be the focus of ariaka this year we are absolutely um, looking to grow the company and expand our customer footprint uh, leading with security technologies. We have multiple different security technologies um, along with the networking that we have. So on the networking side, we have um, our SD-WAN, which is the core. And on top of that, we can replace um, an existing firewall, next generation firewall vendor uh, with our um, technology that is built in. Uh, we also have um, a, so a secure web gateway, SWIG as we call it, for web security for the traffic that's going there. So our uh, approach is actually really simple. We do three things for the customers. One is we provide them the best networking capabilities. We provide them with the net best best security capabilities, and we also allow them to have observability, which is um, have a view or a window into everything that is being used. So this year, we are actually holding our customers' hands. We are ourselves on this journey, uh, trying to evolve into a SASE vendor to uh, allow all the integration of different security technologies um, along with the networking controls. Uh, so that's the journey we are in, and um, this year is all about making it real for us. Renuka, thank you so much for uh, taking time out today and share these predictions with us. I would love to have you back on the show again next year to not only get the next set of predictions, but also see how many of your predictions turn out to be true. But I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Swapnil. Thanks for taking time.